follow so much. Go, go ahead. Okay. Um, I think we're pretty much on the same page. Like, if we could just get on, like, make sure we're on the same page. Um, I think one of the most, like, insidious things about the conflict is the idea of having ununiformed combatants. Like, do you agree with me on that? Like, people that's that are That's a problem. Aren't... Yeah, that's a problem, right? And then also having people um, who are fighting a guerrilla warfare style of war. I think that uh, we can all agree that that's pretty terrible, right? Like, guerrilla warfare, fighting a, an army without being uniformed, hiding. Is well, that, it's pretty insidious, right? So, I mean, we're condemning this in all cases, right? Like, you should never fight ununiformed. It, right? You shouldn't, like, I'm saying Hezbollah and Hamas, they shouldn't be doing this guerrilla warfare, get, get, targeting get. citizens, right? right? And so, then I guess, like, if we're going to condemn this as, like, terrorism because they're fighting civilian populations, they're um, also combating people without wearing uniforms, they're hiding in like schools and different areas. Like, isn't that kind of what the founding fathers did when they were fighting the British? It's kind of like the same thing, a little <laughs> bit, and the fact that there was this except, colonial except, power. Yeah, there's one, one big yeah. difference. The founding fathers weren't Nazis. They didn't want to exterminate people. No, you, they weren't religious fanatics who wanted to exterminate people. The they Puritans to, weren't they, religious the fanatics? Founders, the Puritans weren't religious fanatics. Yeah, they were religious people who believed in tolerance because they were yes. refugees you're, from religious you're, oppression. You're right. They were so free of religion that they started dictatorships everywhere, and it spelled people. Remember, like, the witch trials? Oh, yeah. But, okay. Well, I, I don't want to... You save your communist speech for the Finkelstein event. It's enough, enough, enough. Enough, enough, it's boring. You are boring. And by the way, she could have picked up this idiocy in uh, the standard text for peace studies, which compares the founding fathers to Al, which compares the founding fathers. Thank you for sitting for an hour and a half to deliver that rant. Um, the peace studies textbook, which is written by an animal psychologist and a raving leftist named Barish, actually compares Al-Qaeda terrorists to the revolutionaries in the 18th century in North America, i.e. the founders. But the same, you know, it's just, anyway. Okay, um, Trotsky, Trotsky once said that Stalinism was the perfect theory for gluing up the brain, but it's leftism. <laughs> 